nation's foremost children's entertainers, Mr. Jeremy Lyon. <laughs> My name is Jeremy Lyon, children's entertainer. Ah! <laughs> the uh, noise of a lion <laughs> is, uh, is an absolute tremendous treat for me. To, excuse me, tremendous treat uh, for me to be here. Is, uh, Christ! <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a tremendous treat for me uh, to be here this evening. For those of you who don't know, hello, I am a professional children's entertainer with, uh, ooh, wee, with over 15 years of experience in my belt. I sat down recently with my first wife, Pat, <laughs> to work out how many children over the years I have pleasured with my act. <laughs> An average of, let's say, 15 shows a week over the course of five years, let's say approximately 15 children per show, that is uh, roughly 1,500, 100,000 children. <laughs> it is an approximate figure. It doesn't take into account weeks when I haven't done five shows. Sometimes there aren't as many as 15 children, and sometimes the children leave before the end. <laughs> that, I'm sure, won't happen this evening because I have a very special treat for all the boys in... Oh, Christ. For all the boys... <laughs> We'll have to address that, I'm sorry about that. I've, no, I've, got, a, I've got a tiny, tiny pocket of wind trapped, just, I don't normally get that. Well, I do. I'll tell you how this happened. <laughs> Earlier on today, I ate 142 mint poppets for, um, <laughs> for a bet with my hairdresser, and one of, one of them would appear to have become lodged just under here, so it's causing me some flatal discomfort. I apologise for that. I mean, I wonder, bet he only ate four. <laughs> Every cloud, but still, let's, let's, uh, ooh, let's crack on. Still, what I've got for you this evening, boys and girls, and I'm keenly aware that there aren't that many boys and girls in this audience, administration will cock up once again. But, oh, God, God. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's gone, it's cleared up. Uh, don't take it back. The. Well, uh, yes, children's entertainment, that's of course is what I'm here for you this evening. Uh, Put yourselves, if you can, into the minds and bodies of six-year-old children. Obviously, set parameters, don't soil yourselves or have a tantrum. But what, what I've got for you now is a bit of a treat. It harks back to a more innocent age of, uh, of children's entertainment, a day you know, before, before razor blades and, and so forth came along to blight children's lives. I, well, and you know, I've, when I was a child, I used to entertain myself with nothing more than a box of matches and a kitten. But kids today... <laughs> Kids today aren't happy unless they've got down the roller disco with 15 dreamcasts, they're spoilt. But this, this changes it a little. I'm going to read you all a bedtime story, but it is no horror. God. It is no. You'd have thought a mint puppet would melt, wouldn't you, after six hours? It's like it's got a bloody ball bearing in the mansion. I don't like to the factory. Yes, I'm going to read you all a no ordinary bedtime story because this story is going to be told to you, boys and girls using my late father's travelling suitcase puppet theatre. If we lift this up here... Uh. Yes, you are right to be impressed. It's good. <laughs> we put a little backdrop there, and we hang the little curtains up here, and then we have, upon this wooden stage, the marionette puppets dance as they, they enact the story. Sadly, I've had to sell the puppets. <laughs> so we shall improvise. As I tell you all, as, ooh, as I tell you all the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now, once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl called Goldilocks. <laughs> she, she's, a, she's a cracking girl. I know, but Tesco Metro don't sell marionette puppets, do they? <laughs> my, hands, my hands are tied. <laughs> Goldilocks was walking through the woods, boys and girls, when she came across a house, and the door was open, and she thought, how exciting. And it was no ordinary house, because it had gingerbread walls, a marzipan roof, and a peppermint knocker. But, <laughs> uh, no, it didn't. It, it was completely normal. 
so she opened the door and went in. And on the table, there were three bowls of porridge. So she tried the first bowl. Which was quite gassy for porridge. She tried the second bowl. Oh, which was surprisingly strong. And she tried the third bowl. Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> so, Goldilocks thought, I'd better go upstairs and say hello to my grandmother, Gordon. <laughs> and, and Grandmother Gordon, when she saw Goldilocks coming in, she said to her, mm. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> no, that's, oh, that's, that's hard when it's warm. The, <laughs> no, no, she didn't say that. She, so, she said, she said, Goldilocks, what, what big eyes you have. And Goldilocks said, um, uh, yeah, whatever. 